Ah, the yes. only emperor worth watching is the penguin. <laughs> and that is all. <laughs> and in that time, we look for Emperor Norden's grave. Well, it's like, this is Who's so that, you fair. ask? It's a very fair question. But you know what I'm wanting to know? It's a good question, too. Where are my comments? I have been waiting. Like, like, like a prom date, waiting for the guy to get there to pick me up, and he doesn't show up. That's how I feel. I'm stood up. Stood up. So please, please, like, share, subscribe more than anything else. Comment, because we're counting on you guys to give us huge generated content, because we want to do videos that you want to see, topics you want to talk about. And talk about, and we'll do more poop <laughs> toy videos, because we know you're all clamoring for those. <laughs> oh, God, I'm horrified by that video. Hey. Stun me. Anyway, talking about no, uh, sex toy videos. <laughs> going where you're not wanted. Uh, Joshua Abraham Norton, born in England, 1818, moving to San Francisco in 1849. And would live That's there for 31 mistake. years, possibly. Probably uh, less pooch there when he was there. <laughs> Definitely less cracked pipes, I can promise you. After losing all his money investing in Peruvian rice, which yeah. I mean, who hasn't? Uh, he he parked, I wonder. He moved on to his next venture and also lost his mind after losing all his money to claiming to be Emperor of the United States and then later Protector of Mexico. I mean, these titles were getting grand. And, uh. Have you been to Mexico? You did a horrible shit job. <laughs> and I was like, name a nation that doesn't need a protector more than Mexico right yeah, now. Mexicans, I, I love you guys, but <laughs> your, your, your country's got some problems. Emperor Norton would be rolling in his grave right now. If you can find it. <laughs> We're about to get to that. So, uh, you can find the story about his history, The History Guy, uh, which is a YouTube channel, famously released an episode the day after we had gone to the grave site. So, uh, uh, The History Guy, he has a bow tie. Uh, so, that's his, that's his snag. <laughs> do you guys comment on his crap? They probably do. Uh, so, a little minimum info on Norton. I mean, you can look into things. He's had a positive effect even to this day. They're talking about renaming a bridge after Emperor Norton. Remember to have yeah. toll money when you go through those bridges. Let's tear down Abraham Lincoln, but Emperor <laughs> Norton. Uh, what I like about it is we tend to stereotype crazy people. But this is a man who lived the way he wanted to live. He lived well, by all accounts. And uh, by his own rules. Oh, he got sick, tuberculosis, and the like. Oh, yeah. Those and uh, really may we all be so lucky. So, Just to die of tuberculosis? <laughs> yeah. So, one, um, you uh, first go to the gravesite. Uh, it's a nice thing. It looks pretty cool. It's uh, kind of reminds me of like a dizzy entrance. Yeah, not because of his grave. I don't know how many, like, look. I want to try to delicately phrase this. This was like the grave you would expect to come across if, like, the Mongols had actually made it all the way into China proper. Because there was lots of, like, ornate giant mausoleums for people of Chinese descent, I would say, or Korean descent. And this guy's grave looks like someone just threw four bricks out there next to a tree. <laughs> yeah, this isn't San Francisco proper. This is, I mean, it technically is, but it's kind of like on the outskirts. But uh, you can obviously tell by how this is being talked about whose idea it was to go visit this thing. This wasn't the first time. His idea. Uh, two. Just yeah. what the? I thought it was Edward Norton. I didn't know he. I thought he was alive. <laughs> hey, yeah. This is the original American history act. Okay. Uh, two. Just let them know what you're doing. Um, they're they're very friendly, and they give you a map. They do. Like <laughs> it says, you're here, and the map, it, it, the grave is here. And that leads me to three. This map isn't great at all. <laughs> Look, if you're going to give someone a map at a, at a damn cemetery, if the map is basically a bunch of, like, graves, like, oh, and then it's going to be by the tree next to the grave. Well, no shit. <laughs> but they said, yeah, holy God. There's trees and graves, graves all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and he doesn't even have a big tree. And uh, I'm going to say this, and, it, it, and it's like you pass by the same, you know, Korean name 15 times because I guess these are big families, right? And you pass by one dong and one fong, and you pass by another one. You're like, I think I just passed this guy. But it's not. Next thing you know, you're just lost. There's a tree. There's a tree. There's a grave. There's a grave. And this guy, stupid, wasted most of my day there. 
<laughs> it, it might take you a minute if you are able to. Oh, it's all. It. It's not flat either. It's hills. You're going all over the damn place. It's Jurassic Park. You're not going to walk right to it. Yeah, the road is kind of tight too. So park at your own peril. Really, walk on the road at your own peril. <laughs> People are just driving like maniacs, trying to add you to the population of that gravesite. Uh, so uh, the map isn't great, but the best you can expect for green. Michael J. Fox would draw a better map. Freehand. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to include this in three. Uh, no one will help you. Evidently, everything that works there. I mean, once they give you the map, they'll tell you that it's by a tree, and you're on your own. You're past grave employees. None of them are going to help you. Because so, no one thinks you're there looking for that. They, I mean, they have a great team always mowing, and none of them will tell you where this grave is. You, you are, to be fair, I don't think they spoke English. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they didn't speak Chinese either. So it's a really multi, multicultural experience. Yeah, going on. Portuguese, actually. <laughs> yeah, I told you. It used to be a I was in grocery clues. I was saying it's a multicultural experience. Yeah. So, you've read about them, you've heard about them, you can find videos about them. I implore all of you just at least go on the Wikipedia page for Emperor Norton. And if possible, do something none of these YouTube history people do. Actually, go to the graveside. And we've been to a lot of cool things. And uh, we'll bring this up some of our live reviews. Yeah. Been to a lot of cool things? Uh, we've done a lot. All right. That's it. No, no points to be made here. It was a horrible time. I didn't enjoy myself. I was tired. I was hungry. And uh, the grave was less than amazing. <laughs> well taken care of. The things all around it. <laughs> right. Point me. My